Hello, my name is Andreas and I would like to introduce you to the Background Processing Framework, BGPF for short. In our daily lives, we come across multiple applications that help us to buy, rent or simply find information about something. Often, these applications redirect you to an activity screen where you still have to wait for the results. But what if you want to continue processing instead of waiting? That's exactly where BGPF comes into play. It offers you the functionality to execute time-consuming methods asynchronously if you do not need the result immediately. Instead, you can continue processing and come back to the result later. Let's have a closer look. In this example, we simulate a long-running operation that calculates the total price for all bookings of one passenger where the currency is Euro, saves the results on a database and sends it via mail. This shall be done asynchronously in a background session. We start by implementing the corresponding interface. We put the application logic into the implementation of the execute method. The passenger ID as well as the recipient mail address is handed over to our application in the constructor. Next, we need a starter class. First, we create an instance of our operation. Second, we create a background process using the default inbound destination. This destination is delivered by SAP and it is completely configured in a cloud system. Then, we provide a name for our background process, which can for example be seen in the other cross trace, and put our operation into the background process. Now, we only need to save the background process for execution. Finally, a commit work statement will trigger the asynchronous execution of the background process. If something went wrong while creating or starting the background process, we also implement a proper exception handling, which prints out the exception text and executes a rollback work statement. The status of our background process can be traced via the ABAP cross trace in RDT. Go to View, ABAP cross trace, select Trace configurations, open the context menu on your project and select Create configuration. Enable background processing and click on Finish. To see the traces, select the Trace Results view and double click on the corresponding entry. In case of a successful run, we should see two entries. The first one for saving the background process in our synchronous session, the second for the background process execution in our asynchronous session. In this example, the second entry shows the successful execution of our background process.